In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to construct linear regression equations or lines of best fit. So let's take a look at our first example here. It says the table below shows the value of a car based on the number of miles displayed on its odometer. Part A asks us to write an equation for the line of best fit, also known as the linear regression equation. And Part B says to estimate the value of the car if its odometer reads 95,000 miles. So we're going to answer letter B based on the equation that we create from Part A. So the first thing you're going to need is your graphing calculator. So I'm going to turn my graphing calculator on. And I'm going to enter my data values here. My miles are going to represent my L1 or my X values and my value here will be my L2s or my Y values. So I'm going to enter them into the stat, so that's this button here, and number one, which is edit. So my first list is going to be all of my X values or my miles. So 5,000 will be my first entry, press enter. 12,000 is my second entry, so press enter. Then 18,000, and after each value, you need to press enter to enter the next value. So 30,000, and then my final value would be 50,000. 50,000. All right, so let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six values, and it says my sixth value, yep, so I have six values. So now I'm going to use the right arrow to go over to my L2 list, which will be my value in dollars, right? So the value of a car based on its odometer here. So my first entry for 5,000 miles has to be 25,500. Press enter, 24,800. Press enter, 24,200. Enter 23,600. Press enter 23,000. Press enter, and then the final data point is 21,000. Press enter. So I look to see my lists are even. I have the same data points. So now all of my data has been entered into my stat edit button. Now, if I want to calculate the line of best fit, or the linear regression, I go back to my stat button, but I don't edit the data, I want to calculate the data. So I'm going to press the right arrow to get to the calc menu, and I'm going to choose number four, linear regression. Right? It's going to come out in the form of AX plus B. Linear is Y equals MX plus B, right? So linear regression is AX plus B. So I'm going to choose number four, and yes, my X values are in list one, press enter. Yes, my Y values are in list two, press enter. Don't need any of these other features right now, so I'm just gonna press enter until I get my information. The information shown here is that the coefficient in the A position is negative 0.1, and that the value of the Y intercept in the B position is 26,000. So A is equal to negative 0.1, and B is equal to 26,000. So when I write my equation over here, I'm going to put a negative 0.1 in my A position. And in my B position, I'm going to put a positive 26,000. So that is the line of best fit or the regression equation. Part B says to estimate the value of the car if its odometer reads 95,000 miles. So don't forget these are the X values and these are the Y values. So if I want to know the value when I have the miles, then that means that I'm going to plug in a 95,000 for the x value. So I'm going to leave this equation as negative 0.1, but instead of an x, I'm going to enter 95,000. And I'm going to leave the rest of the equation the way that it was when we generated it. So now you're going to, this is called showing your work, but now you're actually going to have the calculator do that work for you. So I'm going to quit out of this LinReg menu here. I'm going to go back to my main screen. I did that by pressing second mode. 
And now I'm going to type negative 0.1, parentheses, 95,000, close parentheses, plus 26,000. Press Enter. And it looks like that my value here for y, right, my y value will be 16,500. So the y value, the value of the car, when the mileage is 95,000, is approximately 16,500. So let's take a look at another example. The table below shows the number of rabbits at a petting zoo each year since 2008. Write the regression equation for the data shown in the table, and then estimate the number of rabbits at the farm in 2016. So again, we're going to use our linreg function here to complete part A, and then the equation we create in part A will be used to help us to find the answer for part B. So if I go back to my graphing calculator here, and I want to edit that menu again, then when I press stat edit, you'll notice all of my data is still there from the last problem. So I'm going to quit out of here, and I'm going to clear that list by pressing stat clear list number four. So I want to clear both the first list, L1, and comma, L2. So once I press enter, it will be done. And when I go back to stat edit, my list will be empty. So for this question, even though 2008 is my value, even though 2008 is my value, I'm actually going to use zero because that is my first year. 2009 will be one year later, 2010 will be two years later, etc., etc. Okay? So even though I know the year is 2008, that's my initial year. So I actually have to use zero as my value there. So I'm going to enter 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And my y values will be exactly as they are there in the chart. 14, 24, 30, 39, 45, and 57. Now I'm going to do the same method as before. So stat, arrow over to calc number four lin reg and press enter five times and there we have our equation y equals 8.2x plus 14.3 y equals 8.2x plus 14.3 so that is my regression equation now if I want to estimate the number of rabbits at the farm in 2016 then 2016 would be eight years eight years from the beginning. So I'm actually going to enter an eight into my equation, not the number 2016. I'm gonna enter the number eight here because it is eight years since the beginning, which was 2008. So use your calculator, right? So clear out of this by pressing second quit. And then we enter eight, Point two parentheses eight close parentheses plus fourteen point three. I can type it exactly how I see it on my paper, and it will evaluate that in two thousand sixteen, the number of rabbits will be approximately eighty. Seventy nine point nine would be approximately eighty rabbits. So eighty rabbits. All right, the last question here has a graph, but it does not have a table. So you can't write a line of best fit or a linear regression unless you actually have entered the data. So you're going to have to do a little extra work here. So you're going to need to create a chart, something like this, or you're going to write all the points as ordered pairs, like say something like this, um, 0, 216, right, something like that. The order of which you write the points doesn't matter um, because you're going to enter all of the points into the, to the list anyways. But you notice at zero weeks, there were 216 pounds was the weight, right? So at one week, 220, 
12. Looks like it's 214 pounds. At two weeks, it looks like it's 213 pounds. And then here at three weeks, it's 210 pounds. Here at four weeks, it's also 210 pounds. At five weeks, it looks like it's 207. At six weeks, it's 206. At seven weeks, it's 202. At eight weeks, it looks like it's 203. Eight weeks is 203. At nine weeks, it's 202. And then let's see our final number here at approximately 10 weeks. It is 200 pounds about, all right? So I just quickly wrote them down in a side facing table here because of the way my screen is. And then you would go and clear your list. So stat, clear list, clear list L1, comma, L2, L2. <coughs> So now I'm going to edit that data by pressing number 1. It looks like I'm going to go from 0 to 10. So go over to L1. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to go over to L2. It looks like it was 216 pounds. And it was 214 pounds. And it was 213, 210, another 210, 207. This one was 206, 202, 203. Another 202, and then finally, week 10, 200. All right, so I can go back and check my data here. Looks pretty good. All right, now I'm ready to calculate the linear regression. Press stat, arrow over to calc, choose number four, press enter five times. All right, y equals negative one point. 618. So y equals negative 1.618. So I'm going to say negative 1.62. Then I put an x and then I put plus 215.636. So 215.63. Now, I clearly see that the y-intercept is 216. But remember, this is a prediction equation, so it takes all of the, the average of all of these data points here. So see that it's not exactly the right um, y-intercept, but it is our prediction equation. And it does make sense. He does seem to be losing weight, so that's why we get a negative coefficient here. So estimate Carter's weight 15 weeks into his diet. So 15 weeks into his diet would be negative 1.62 times 15 plus 215.63. So again, you do need to show where you're plugging in the 15, but you don't actually have to do that math yourself. So quit out of this here and enter this negative 1.62 parentheses 15 plus 215.63 pounds. So it looks after 15 weeks, if he continues losing at the same rate, that he would weigh 191.3 pounds. And that is how you create regression equations from either data tables or from graphs using your TI-84.